Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Fan 2002 Championship Mode for Race 2 of 36. We're tackling Rockingham. The last race was the Daytona 500. Uh, I'm hoping to have the finish back, but we managed to get a top 15. We finished 12th, I believe, if I remember. Um, although I just filmed that race like 10 minutes ago, and I, I don't remember where the heck I finished. But we got a top 15, I'll take it. Um, but well, we finished 12th, so I'll take it. Uh, we move on to Rockingham, which I know Rockingham's going to be way better than Daytona, based on what I did in practice. It's way better. Um, but, like I said, for every race, besides the play tracks, we're starting the back of the pack. So for this one, we're starting last. It's just Daytona tell you really qualified. But anyway, as far as the standings go, uh, nothing really changes. We finished 12, like I mentioned. Like I said, the points don't matter after the first race. Uh, but yeah, like I said, here I think we got a better chance of winning, so... Or at least finish well. But anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna show you the setup. We'll jump straight into the rock. We're in Rockingham, North Carolina, home of the North Carolina Speedway for today's race, the North Carolina 400. What makes the rock so tough? North Carolina is a fast track despite being only one mile. Drivers will pick up some good speed on the straights, but in the corners, they'll have to slow down or they'll end up in the wall. Bobby LeBron has had a great run so far. Tell us a little about what's going on with him. He picked up a serious point lead after the last race. Alright, so that's it. Uh, set up. The only real change is the tire pressures. We're going to lower them down a little bit to 40. So this is the short track. Obviously, man manual transmission and tire pressure are wedge. We're going to lower down to a half round. Tire pressure down to 40 and manual transmission as always. So, that's it. And without further ado, let's jump straight into Rockingham. Looks like the 33 and Ricky Brown the front row. Let's get rolling here at Rockingham. And we're on the way at the rock. Here we go. Green flag. Buggity, buggity, buggity. Let's go racing. Yeah, we're check up here. Whoa. Big check up. We're shifting the fourth gear here. Now they are going to slow up a little bit in turn two. So we're trying to use that as an opportunity. There they go. Going to lay up a little bit early. Going to use the brake. Oh, giant journey. I'm on the bottom. And another thing that didn't mention at Daytona is I'm going to be hitting people a lot because of the game's miscues. But obviously, as you guys know me, I'm going to try to race as cleanly as I can. So, yeah, they stack up up here. We're going to try to get as many spots as we can. And we're up to 24, not even two laps in, so I will happily take it. But, and again, this is on legend difficulty, so I'm not cheating. This is on the hardest difficulty. We up to 23rd, not bad at all. Yeah, they're just checking up a little bit, coming off of two. That's going to allow me to gain some spots. I'll take them if I can, obviously. They're trying to make some pass on the outside. Oh, gee, sorry, Schrader. And like I said, guys, <laughs> I'm going to be hitting people a lot, as you already see, but looks like we're going to relax for a little bit. And now, I mean, a few seconds later, here we are with Cod Dale Jarrett and the rest of the field. Yeah, I'm going to slay up high and art down low. But like I said, they do check up a little bit off of two, so we're going to gain a lot of time there. And like I said, fellas, this is on the hardest difficulty. It is on Legends, so I am not cheating. So I'm trying to go all the way to Amber to make it three wide on the bottom. And there we go, 15th. Sorry, Jay. Sorry, Spencer. Ooh, turn car. Not bad. And like I said, we are going to pit it halfway, which is lap 10. We're going to pit it half halfway. Yeah, here we come back. On the inside of Jerry, going to try to make some passes here. Ooh, thought I was going to hit Jared there, but he would go to the bottom, to the inside for 15th, and we're going to take, we're going to do just that. I was not making my way up here in practice. Um, the highest I've gone was somewhere in the 20s, so. Can't believe that we're already doing better than what I did in practice, so this is a big dub for me. We're going to stay out a couple more laps. Oh, sorry, Jared. Um, normally I pin lap 9, but 
I get a big undercut by pinning an extra lap early, so I'm going to pin with everybody else. As you, as you can see, we're almost in the top 10 already, so we're definitely going to pin to lap 10. I did not expect to do this well. Oh, I'm sorry, 63? Uh, not pretty there, but we got by him. We're up to 12. And like I said, we're going to stay on extra lap because this is looking pretty easy, so... Yeah, we're almost seeing the top 10. I can't believe how good we're doing in this race. This is, like I said, this is way better than what I did in practice, so. Yeah, we're gonna pit this lap. We're gonna go for all four times. Looks like some people are pitting as well. And like I said, the pit road speed's 100, so. Yeah, it looks like a couple of people are pitting. We're gonna pit as well. Boy, that was a big set. Okay, uh, no repair damage. Four tires and fuel will be out in the way. And here we go, four tires. All right, not bad. Uh, Ricky Rudd's gonna be us out of the pits. We're gonna have a couple people to beat, but that's all right. We're gonna get a few positions out of the pit, so I will happily take it. Looks like we're gonna cycle out in third. And let's see if we cycle out. We should cycle back in P3, but we'll see what happens. Coming off a of turn forward, pit stops will cycle through. Looks like we're gonna cycle out in fifth. Way better than what I thought it was gonna be. We're gonna cycle out in fifth. There's Mike Skinner. We're gonna cycle out in fifth. So, I will happily take this. Oh, here we go. We're going to try to pass the 7 on the outside. Oh, I don't like making a pass on the outside, but here, we're making a pass on the outside. Hopefully we do well. Oh, boy. As you guys can probably tell, I don't like... Sorry, Skinner! Oh, I saved it. As you guys can probably tell, I don't like making passes on the outside, so... I'd rather make the pass on the inside than the outside. Good run off a of turn forward to the inside of Skinner. We got four laps to go. A top five will be awesome if I can hang on to it. We got by Skinner there for fifth, and it looks like we're probably gonna chill here. Here we go to the inside of the seven car, very aggressive for fourth, and we got it. Two laps to go. Oh man, here he comes back. Ooh, a little tight. Can we hang on to fourth? Yes, we can. Got two laps to go. We're in up in fourth. I will happily take a top five as we're coming to the white flag. One more lap to go. I can see the bow for the win up there. I wish I was a part of it, but it is what it is. We will happily take a top five. I believe that's Ricky Rudd in the lead as we're heading to turn three. Down the back stretch I go. I believe off of four. I believe Ricky Rudd is going to win at Rockingham. We're going to end up fourth. I will happily take it. And yes, Ricky Rudd is the winner. Not bad. I'll take a top five. Yeah, there's a check up there. Also, we'll take a look at the highlights as well to make the video a little longer because the video is probably going to be about ten minutes. Yeah, as you guys can tell there, I'd rather make passes on the inside than the outside. Although, I think I made... I don't know if I made a pass on the outside in this. Probably not, but... As you can see there, I tried to gain some spots on pit road. I was able to gain a couple. And there we are, ended up in fourth. So not bad. Obviously, we're not going to gain points, but we are going to gain a lot. No bonus points, because we didn't lead a lap. So we'll take him, and Ricky Rudd, the winner, he led 10 laps, he led the most. Uh, Jeff Gordon leads four, Randy LaJoy led two, uh, he was the pole sitter. Uh, Johnny Benson, who won here in 2002, I believe. Um, uh, Terry Labine led a lap, and as well as Mike Skinner. So those are the lap leaders. And yeah, let's check the points. Alright, we're 5th in points. I will happily take that. We're 13 back. 
And Jeff Gordon is the points leader by three over the Yates guys. Uh, Ricky Rudd and Dale Jarrett. Billy is seven back. We are 13 back. Uh, Boo the Bully, the 500 winner, is 15 back. And yeah. Yeah, there you can see the guys. Uh, right now, 34 are within the race because uh, you can only make up 151 points in one race. If you count maximum points, so 34 within the race right now. But like I said, it's early in the season. Anything can happen early, so. Yeah, there's that. Uh, let's take a look at the awards for Rockingham. Once again, I get the All Charged Up Award, and again, that's the most positions gained in a race, so. And again, we can't look at everything else because. That's it, but yeah. There we go. Um, next race we tackle Las Vegas. So that's a tough one. Uh, based on what I did in practice, I think I uh, if I won practice race there, I did okay. Uh, we'll get, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, guys, uh, that's it for me in this video. I'll see you all at Las Vegas. And as always, have a good day, everyone. Take care.